come to rugby league and you're welcomed immediately with open arms. Um, there's not one single person I can think of in this society. If we're going for drinks, if, we, if we're going for some food, everyone's invited, everyone's welcome. And we actively ask people who maybe, you know, we haven't seen much of or seem a bit quiet to come and join us uh, and, and just get integrated into the group because that's what we are. It, rugby league, it sounds cliche, but we are, we are a family. So that's how it works. I came to university last year and uh, joined the rugby league team and I instantly had a group of like 20 to 30 close mates who I could call on for anything. Um, I can come, you know, play sport and go on socials afterwards. So I've, I've got both, both of those aspects of my life covered with uh, close group of mates. I've played rugby league all my life since I was a youngster and I felt like it'd be good to be able to continue at university as well as we're in an area which uh, like in Lincolnshire, it's not that big for rugby league. I really wanted to be able to promote it and help to um, really grow the sport at university because I feel like it's a great sport. And you know, um, the lads here, you know, anyone coming to Lincoln should have an opportunity to be able to play it. Uh, quite, quite a lot of depth, so we sometimes struggle to make choices, you know, who, who want to play. So we have to change it each week. And to be fair, it, it creates a good culture at training. People compete for places, but it's all healthy. You know, it's, it's all um, in good spirits. And it's nice because we can really compete and we can really challenge our players to try and be the best they can be. Clash of Codes is an event that we do every year, late March, early April sort of time, uh, where we have our big game against Rugby Union. We play one half of league rules, one half of union rules. It's, it's played in the evening, so under lights. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big night for everyone.